That was definitely a highlight of my career. A goal in Serie A, one of the top five leagues in Europe, which was just unbelievable. I remember it was a very hot day and everyone was going wild as it was an important goal. So that's why it's a memory I cherish. In his debut season in Serie A, Robin Gossin scored just that one goal. And few appreciated his quality. Three years later, and everyone knows who he is. Because for the second season running, he is the top flight's most prolific defender. Gorsens is there! And Robin Gorsens! And he always knows the way to go. My top three goals that I like to remember the most are as follows. The one I scored against Roma, which started our comeback after being 1-0 down. And we went on to win 4-1 at the end. The perfect cross, which is headed in by Robin Gosens. Ich denke auch gerne an ein wunderschönes. Then I really like the wonderful goal I scored against Torino last season. I scored from 20 yards out from a corner kick with a volley straight into the far corner. A wonderful strike from the edge of the box. And then another very important goal came on the opening match day of last season against Spal. Robin Gosens is on the end of it. Atalanta are back in the game. Janus Lanke from my partner. Hans Hatterbur crossed the ball really well, and I headed it in nicely to give us a 2-1 lead in that match. Aggressive in defence, incisive in attack. Gosens is an ideal choice on the flank for Giampiero Gasperini's style of play. He also perfectly encapsulates the Bergamaschi's motto, sweat for the jersey, always. I think that this is really one of my most important characteristics. I give my heart and soul on the pitch, and I give my all for the club I play for. And if you ask any player, they'll tell you that to give your best for 90 minutes and fight for the club, you need to have the desire to always give your best, and that's exactly what I do in every match. So I think that motto fits pretty well. Atalanta returned to Syria just 10 years ago. And if at the beginning they struggled not to be relegated, now they are Champions League regulars. Every season they manage to improve their overall performance. I think the way we play as a team on the pitch is an advantage we have compared to other teams. We're not a team that was randomly put together, but we are a unit. We act like one and we're all going in the same direction. We've worked on this over the last few years and we've just been lucky to stay together and play together in this team. I think you can see that now. We all know what each other's strengths and weaknesses are and we know we can rely on each other. Unlike Milan, Atalanta have secured their Champions League qualification. But the clash against the Rossoneri will be decisive in reaching the best result in their history. Second place in Serie A. La Dea won 3-0 at the then league leaders in January, a surprising result, and it proved pivotal. Milan lost confidence while Atalanta suddenly moved up through the gears. It was certainly an important match for us because although we were further back in the table, we managed to show the leaders what their weaknesses were. Tactically, technically and physically, we produced a fantastic performance and it was definitely one of the best matches we have played this season. Robin Gorsens has scored against big teams like Juventus, Napoli and Inter, but never against Milan. Last season I was pretty close to scoring, but Mario Pasalic deflected my shot into the back of the net, but it could have been one for me. So I guess I have to make up for it in our last match. 